Okay, here is the room finished. <clears throat> it's been three weeks and I filled up the room. I have seedlings growing here, tomato. Uh, what do we have there? Basil, more tomatoes, garlic. And not happening in that one is echinacea. And then uh, what's this one? More tomato? Uh, nope, cilantro. And here are the conifers, quite a collection of conifer, all being prepped for bonsai stock. Got hemlock and mugo pine, red cedar, some of the arrangements that we're making here, just getting in some humidity. Okay, now the good stuff, the cloner. I wish I still had the video from three weeks ago but uh, this is three weeks of growth I guess there's nothing to compare it to but when we look under the hood you know we got lots of roots here this is three weeks of propagating in the easy cloner which uh, I give a 10 out of a 10 for this because uh, this stuff here we're trying to root <clears throat> is very difficult to root and there's little data on conifer rooting and we'll look under the hood here. Not as much going on here, but as you can see, we still got lots, lots of roots. So it uh, looks like I'll be transplanting a lot of the stuff into pots today. We have, uh, what do we have? A mix of stuff. White pine, black pine, rhododendron, willow, which uh, adding willow to your cloner, willow has a naturally, natural occurring hormone uh, in its uh, bark. I'm not sure how else to describe it. So anytime you have a cloning operation like this, uh, I would always suggest to add willow simply because it just grows no matter what. Even, even the thickness of that is still got lots of roots and buds and uh, I'll, uh, it actually helps everything else grow. These were just little stems when I stuck them in. This is three weeks. They're just growing down the side. And that's pine, and that's really hard to propagate. So, and we have some more juniper, and we got giant sequoia, more willow. And, uh, oh, what's that? Uh, what else do we have? You. You is doing very well. Uh, California red. They're just starting to root. I was looking at them closely and they're just starting to appear on the on the stems. So there you have it. Uh, check the channel for some more stuff. Um, we'll have more stuff about the propagation and uh, just how to grow conifers indoors. Uh, some said it couldn't be done and uh, I'm showing the world that it can be and very successfully. That's all. Thanks for watching Blissful Bonsai.